Hi, welcome back to my channel TLCKP and welcome if you are new. Um, if you didn't see my latest, uh, my most recent short, um, you won't know, but I'm now in Addenbrooke's. Uh, so, Addenbrooke's is a hospital in Cambridge uh, and it is a, it has a specialist intestinal failure unit, which is where I currently am, a patient. <laughs> Um, so I got here on Tuesday evening, so that was the 18th of April. Uh, today is now the Friday the 21st of April. Um, so I've now been in hospital in total, uh, this admission for just over five weeks. Um, yeah. Um, I can't say that the experience since I've been here has been brilliant. Um, I don't really like to talk down and things like this on these videos, but it's the truth, so I'll just give you the truth. So I got here, so I had a transport ambulance bring me from my local hospital to here on Tuesday and got here about in quarter six in the evening um, where I was put in a little waiting room so anyway so they came and did some admission stuff and things like that and then they said oh the room should be done soon and I was like right okay well it got later and later and I still wasn't in a room they came and they did my medications and then at nine o'clock they then said there was a problem with my room because unlike my last mission i'm actually in a side room and um so i believe judging by what was left on the door afterwards the person before me that was in this room had an infection of some sort so yeah so uh, they use some machine thing to make sure it's properly clean and it obviously it broke stopped working part way through or something like that anyway um, so they then had to run it again to make sure it was safe um, so yeah so I then moved from my wheelchair onto this very tiny sofa and extremely low back on it they put like a sheet on it first because it was like a plasticky leather thing and I didn't want to sweat on it basically um, and all I'm sitting there is in a hospital this like one of these pink hospital gowns and some knee high socks and that's it and, oh no I did have my dressing gown with me sorry so yeah so anyway so I managed to very very uncomfortably sleep uh, for a little bit on the sofa and then they came and woke me up at about midnight to say the room was ready so I got into the room at just after midnight and they did some ops and things and let me get to sleep so that was Tuesday then Wednesday the doctor came in and I when he left I wasn't a fan at all He's one of these that, I don't know, it was just my impression and a few others because I've looked the guy up in one of my uh, support groups on Facebook. He just doesn't really listen to the patient. He's more about what he wants. Anyway, so, um, anyway, so I was still obviously having problems with the pick line and his idea was to try and put another pick line in and I was like oh for god's sake anyway so they he started saying about putting it in my left arm and I explained but it can't go in my left arm and he was like oh no no we can try we can try so anyway so I was like okay fine um oh no I jumped ahead I think that was Thursday he said that anyway so I had TPN 
on Monday night. Uh, finished that about nine, nine o'clock Tuesday morning, and then had half a bag of fluids on Tuesday night, and then got changed onto a liter bag of potassium and glucose. I think it's got fluids in it as well. Um, but yeah, so and then I didn't have any more TPN until last night, till about just after nine last night, so Thursday night. So I'd gone a couple of days without any TPN. Um, but yeah, anyway, so the doctor was just not brilliant and didn't really listen. I gave him the benefit of the doubt on Wednesday because I'd never met him before. But when I saw him yesterday, I stood my ground and advocated for myself. So with being in hospital for the last five weeks and then the admission in January taught me anything. It was, you've got to advocate for yourself. You've got to tell them what it is you want. And you have a right to know it's your body, so why not? Anyway, so, um, sorry, just moving the table. I was resting my hand again. Um, so yeah, so, yeah, so, so yeah, so yesterday he said about taking the pick out and putting my left arm. Um, in the morning I had an ultrasound. Um, so they took me down there about half past eight. I didn't get seen until nearly 10 o'clock, which is crazy. Um, they then, oh, did an ultrasound from here all the way across here and then right down to where the pick site was. Um, and they couldn't find a clot, which is really good, which means the clot had gone, but why was I getting all the pain? So anyway, so um, so the doctor assumed it was resting against the nerve or there was something wrong with the pick line. Anyway, um, early afternoon I got taken down for, I think it was about half past two, this afternoon I got taken down to the vascular lab the pick line so I was like okay so, anyway, so the lady said I need to read your notes so she went I'll come back she said we can't use your left arm so I was like right okay so she was like she's like I'll take the other pick out if I can't get another one in they'll have to either do another CVC or a tunnel line so like a Hickman line I was secretly hoping for the Hickman line I'm not gonna lie I know that's what I need anyway so but anyway, so um, so she looked at the basilic vein, which is where my three previous picks had been, and uh, she didn't want to try that one again because she didn't want to cause the pain again. Um, so she took the old pick out. She looked at it, tried to flush it. It was a t it was a bit blocked with like blood, and then um, there was like a small hole in it as well. Sorry. Um, just had to check some things that came up on my phone. Um, anyway, so um, there was a small hole in the pick line and a little. Sorry, someone came in the room. Um, yeah, so they found a. There was a tiny hole in the pick line and it's like blocked with the blood. Um, so yeah, so they didn't think that would be helping. Anyway, since they've taken it out, nothing at all. Um, yes, I haven't had any pain at all, so I'm really glad. Uh, the only pain I've got is from the new pick line where they put it in the cephalic vein, so it's more around the top of my arm, but it goes more up, like more up here, so it's like it's uncomfortable when I move my arm. It's just sore at the moment, but apart from that, it's all good. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, it's all really good, but um. I'm glad that the pain's gone. It's not really good. I don't want another pick one, but I'm glad the pain's gone and I don't have the pain from the clot anymore. Uh, that I don't have the clot anymore. And I'm glad that the pain in my arm has gone. And this is just more because I've had the new pick line put in rather than any other pain. So hopefully um, by tomorrow, hopefully, the pain will have gone and I won't need any other pain relief for it. Yeah, so that's really good. Um that the pain's gone. Um oh 
some of the issues in this hospital though I mean seriously when I went down to x-ray um because after after you have the pick line in you have to get an x-ray to make sure it's in the right position because it goes into your heart so you have to make sure that it's the right position um so I went to x-ray and for some reason they took me to outpatient x-ray uh because I believe it's like closest to the vascular lab and of course it was like I don't even know half past three by this point and it took ages to a point where one of the radiographers that kept going in and out with patients came over to me and said you've been here a while why have you had your x and I was like no anyway so I finally got back to the room at I don't even know 20 to 5 maybe because as soon as I left x-ray it clearly was in the right position and then they brought me back to the ward um, and then today, the dietitian, uh, the doctor came and saw me this morning. Um, but yeah, didn't really say much, apart from trying to take me off of the strong painkillers. And I was like, nope, not yet, thanks. Um, I really do need some painkiller now, actually. Uh, and so I've pushed my buzzer, so fingers crossed someone will come soon. Had some paracetamol, but it hasn't done anything. Um, anyway, yeah, so, and then the dietitian came and she was here for quite a while, over an hour. Uh, I had to go through the last five years with her and things like this because I'm now, I've now been discharged from my local hospital's dietitian service, dietic, dietetic, what, uh, dietetics, I think it's service, however you say it discharged from there, the gastroenterology dietitian, and I'm now with these guys. So this is now my hospital for all things gastroparesis, intestinal failure related, basically. But yes, so um, just, I don't really have much else to say. Um, dietitian spoke about you know, going home with PN, so parental nutrition, um, and spoke about everything that comes with that, and just that basically she expects me to be here for another two weeks, maybe. Hopefully she meant two weeks from admission, which means like week Tuesday, week Wednesday, which would be great. Um, yeah. I've never wanted to be home more than I do since being here. I think maybe because I know the next stage is home, so, you know, but I also know that being here for this amount of time means that I won't need to go back to hospital and stuff like that as soon. Um, so, fingers crossed, things go well. Obviously nothing will happen over the weekend. Um, so fingers crossed for a new doctor on Monday and then I will not have to worry about that guy because otherwise I may have to request a different doctor um, because I don't feel like he's got my best interests uh, to hand when he's discussing me. It's more like what he wants rather than what would be best for me. So, um, but yeah. But yeah, hopefully that won't be the case and it'll just be like my previous hospital, new consultant on the ward every week. So fingers crossed, because there's a lot of consultants on this ward, so hopefully. Anyway, enough babbling from me <laughs> and I will um, keep you updated. Speak soon. Hi, welcome back. Um, today's the 22nd of April. It's a Saturday. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to actually end up posting this or not. Oh, just... I just really want to go home. I don't even know why I came on. I just... I'm not very... don't feel great at the moment. They keep changing my meds without telling me. Like stopping things without telling me and just really silly stuff and they're being really funny about
take my NJ out. And, yeah. Like I say, I don't even know whether or not I'll post this. I just... I don't know. Needed to invent, shall we say. Terrible choice of words, considering that is what they're talking about not allowing me to do with my stomach. But yeah. I just... I really... don't like it here. Maybe it's because I'm not seeing the kids, like especially Penny and Luke every day in person, that is. Just getting hugs when needed, you know? I don't know. Like I haven't seen Penny or Luke since Tuesday afternoon. And I just just want to go home. Um, sorry, I saw the dietitian yesterday, and she reckons it's going to be a couple of weeks before I get to go home. Don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know. Hopefully. My mum will be able to bring Luke and Penny up this week and I'll get to see them. I don't know. But anyway, if I do end up putting this on, then just keeping it real, I suppose. It's hard. It's really hard. But yeah. Big soon.